Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sean. Today, we're gonna talk about the implementation of ROS controller. After you finish my previous tutorial, you will have a controller.cpp in your beginner source file. So remember, in the tutorial six, we played with a built-in robot, which is Turtle, and we're gonna reuse that today. So the first thing we're gonna do here is to run the ROS core to start our system and then also run our turtle nodes and the keyboard control. So let me check my keyboard viewer here so make it clear. So if you keep pressing the up button, the turtle will keep moving forward. And if it hits the boundary, uh, there's a warning shows up on the terminal says, oh no, I hit the wall. So if right now you press the left or right, you can change the direction and then you can keep moving the turtle to the other place. But what if we don't press the left and right? The only thing we do is to press the up button. So today we're gonna write a controller to help turtle get off the wall automatically without press any other button except the up button. So the first thing we're gonna do is to analyze the whole robot system and understand how does it work. So we run the ROS topic list to see all the topics we have right now. And then as you can see here, we have the turtle one slash post and the turtle one slash cmd underscore VL, which is like command velocity. So the post topic, it's about the, the position information of the turtle and then the command velocity uh, contains the movement information. So here we have an idea. We listen to the position topic to know where the turtle is and determine whether it should change direction. If it does, send the command to the uh, command velocity topic and then change direction. After we clear our strategy, the first thing we're going to do is to listen to the position topic. So we need to update our topic name in our subscriber from the chatter to the turtle one slash post. After that, we need to change our callback function accordingly, especially for the input argument. Uh, the type of it is not the standard message anymore. So in order to know what kind of message we received, we need to look deep into this topic. So we need to do ROS topic, info, the topic name. And then we can see here, the type is the turtle sim slash post. So here we copied this message name and then inject into our code base. And then we also need to change our type for the input message here as well. Then we need to know what's the message it looks like. So we copied the message name and then do ROS message show. And in here you can see the uh, the property of this uh, message is like x, y, theta, linear velocity and angular velocity. So I think the only thing we need right now is just x and y, which is the coordinate information. Let's print out what we have inside this message. The only thing we need right now is just the, uh, the x and also the y position information. Let's save it. And then after we change the code, don't forget to do the cat can make. So after system is built, we do ROS run beginner tutorial controller. And then you will see the coordinate information, get it from our subscriber. And then uh, let's try to turn this off and then turn it on again. We can see the turtle. And then once we move the turtle in this terminal, you can see the X coordinate is updated. And then once you reach 11, it's gonna hit the wall. Now we have all the information we need. So we know uh, when X is larger than 11, we tell the turtle to uh, change the direction. So here's what we do. Let's remove this first. And then if the message X is larger than 11, we do some stuff. So the next thing we're gonna do here is to trying to understand what it's inside the our target topic. 
so let's let's do a topic list and then we need to see what is inside the turtle one command velocity so let's do top last topic info and we can see here uh the type is the geometry message slash twist and then the subscriber is turtle sims and then there's the one publisher which is the teleop turtle which is this keyboard control so that's why the keyboard control can control the turtle node. So let's try to construct our uh, published message and then publish to uh, the target topic. So we need to copy the topic name here and then change the topic here. And then uh, we need to import the message, which is the uh, this one, geometry message slash twist. And then we need to create a new publish message. So the pub message, and then do some stuff. Do some stuff. Then we publish it. So before we add any code to the to do, we need to understand. How is the uh, this message it looks like? So we copy the name and do last message show. And we can see there's two sub uh, objects within there. One is the linear and the other one is the angular. Since we're gonna change direction, we're gonna use the angular. And then we're gonna turn that use the Z axis. The reason we update the Z value is because uh, we're on the top of the turtle and if we look down of that if you apply the angular speed on the z-axis that the turtle can just turn around on the platform which has the x and y let's update the z value so here we have the, the public message dot angular dot z equal to a number since the unit of the z is the uh, the radian so we just give it one pi and then don't forget to change the topic type here as well. This needs to be changed to the geometry message twist. And let's save it. After that, let's do the cat king make to build our project. So let me have my keyboard viewer here again. And then let's try to build our controller. And then let's turn, uh, turn this off and then run new turtle. And moving forward and forward and automatic take turns and boom, we save the turtle. Let's do a quick recap about what we just did. So first, the turtle node sends the position information into the turtle sim slash post topic. And then we use our controller to capture that information and then we're trying to communicate with the geometry message twist to send up another uh, velocity related information to tell the turtle to change the direction. That's pretty much everything about this ROS tutorial for beginner. You should be able to build and create a package, write a publisher, subscriber, and controller to do some cool stuff with your robots. I hope you guys enjoyed the whole series, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.